As a foreigner, one of the best feelings is waking up and start seeing these red flags waving around. Now you know what that means. It's the Chinese national holiday, which means you have about 7 days off to do whatever you want to do. So today, I'm going to be taking a trip to Nimbo, and this is my first time visiting this city. Alright, so come along and hope you enjoy this journey with me. So Nimbo is very close to Hanzhou and it was supposed to take us about an hour and a half to get there. But with the traffic and people going home to celebrate their holidays too, we ended up spending about three hours on the road. So yeah, we were very exhausted. So the only thing we had to do was to check into our hotel and freshen up a bit. Yeah, the view from my room was amazing, but that's not what we are here for. We are here to explore Nimbo. So yeah, with us freshen up, we headed up into the town to take a look at the city. So even though we were both eager to go explore the city right away, we realized our stomach were craving for some food. So yeah, we had to find a restaurant to go eat. So yeah, this is what we could find, a restaurant called Meeting Time. How hilarious. So you might be wondering, why is there a pool in the center of the restaurant? Well, yeah, in China, people come here to eat, but people also come here to take pictures. So if you want to make your place more marketable, you have to make it picture worth it, Instagram worth it. So yeah. That's a business idea for y'all. Make every place you have Instagram worth it. So once our energy was back up, we decided to go back to explore the city. One thing I noticed about Nimbo was that there were lots of buildings, but less people. There were a lot of places for kids to play. We saw kids go karting. And we even watched some kids playing basketball. Then we decided to go check up on some friends who live nearby. We spent some quality time with them. And they allowed us to review this masterpiece, the Xiaopen P7. I must say, I wasn't prepared to do this shoot, but it was totally worth it. After hours and hours shooting, it was evening already and driving by, we saw Nanjing at night and look at that, beautiful colors displaying on the building, nice architectures all around. Then we came across this bridge where we saw lots of people taking pictures. 
So yeah, we pulled up and decided to check it out for ourselves. The scene was epic. I guess the lights were turned on for the Chinese national holidays. Then we headed to this place called Lao Wai Tang, which means the old barn, which is the most famous modern historical block in Nimbo. And this renovation and construction has important effects on many aspects in urban construction. I must say it was exciting to see people being so happy celebrating this national day. It was like they all came together to enjoy and have fun. Yeah, I'm very honored to be experiencing this culture. <laughs> Hey,你的笑脸，笑果有没有？话筒的笑果，话筒的笑果来，必须的转变。轻飘飘的旧时光，就这么流走。嘿，嘿，嘿，整天回去看看是，哎，我的天哪！ 我不会，是机会图。一二三，人生难得再次寻觅，相聚的伴侣，该游起来了吧？游起来了，蓝蓝的白云天。We were not done at this place. We still had more to see and more to explore. Last but not least, Nimbo is famous for its churches too. They have proper, nice Catholic churches. I even heard the Pope sometimes come here to visit. So yeah, that's one interesting fact about Nimbo too. You know, just coming here, not planning anything, just to see everything for myself one time. I had fun being here, and now I just have to plan some more days to come here and enjoy it a bit more. You should also check out this city if you're in China, or even if you're planning to come to China. Alright, so to then, stay safe and catch you in the next video. Peace out.